Welcome to the video from thisflash.com. This video, I wanted to quickly show you how well the Windows 11 tablet mode works. Windows 10 didn't really have a lot of improvements over Windows 8 one for tablet users, but there are some nice changes in there, so I thought we'd have a quick look. at This is the first build of Windows 11 that Windows Insiders have had to test, so it could change, but I thought I'd do a quick video anyway. So uh, here's the Surface Go, and um, first of all, you'll see you've got these nice smooth uh, rotations, which I think look rather nice when they when that rotates. Um, I should say performance as well works really well on this Surface Go. I did install Windows 11 and then do a reset, so it sounds nice and clean because I've installed hundreds of builds on this in the past. So I thought it was about time to clean it up. So, so there you can see. So when Windows um, 10 it's kind of in the desktop mode, all that you get that centered um, taskbar. When you're in tablet mode, especially in um, portrait mode, you notice it, it, it moves the, the start button over to the left, so it gives you plenty of space. So actually, there's more space on there than there was in Windows 10 when I was using it before. You hit the start button, and you get the new style start menu, which is easy enough to use with uh, finger in tablet mode. And uh, unlike uh, Windows 10, where when you're in tablet mode, everything was kind of full screen until you took it out of tablet mode, that isn't the case on here. You can you can put it into full screen mode. But it doesn't do it by default. So you can still have uh, windowed apps, which you didn't get before. Of course, what you have got the option of, of, sort of moving them around and getting them to dock and everything else, um, like you could in Windows 10, but um, it doesn't automatically go full screen. If you swipe from the from left you get the new widget screen so here you get the, the widgets which is customizable and you can set this up to be your, your own sort of news feed and traffic and OneDrive and weather and that kind of thing. If you swipe from the right you get your notifications calendar so you get your action center on there as well. You've still got the task switcher with the desktops and uh, you can still search as well and um, you have got gestures as well so, so there's a three finger gesture which gets rid of an application and three fingers to bring it back up and i think it switches between them as well and three fingers again seems to task switch so the old gestures of dragging the application down doesn't work anymore so if i have um, an edge there and in the past it was full screen and you Swipe it, swipe it down with your finger like that to dismiss it. That doesn't work anymore, but you can use uh, three fingers and that dismisses it that way as well. So, of course, you've not got live channels, you've got the start menu now with the recent used, and that makes kind of sense. It all works fine on there. And I think that having the left and the right swipes actually makes the most sense with your action center. File Explorer, it automatically has got more space in it than it had in Windows 10, so it's easy to navigate around and you can tick the selection items like that so that you've got a way of doing group selections of files as well. I think what I like about it as well is the, is the nice smooth rotation as well on it as well. I think that looks pretty, pretty good. So... As a tablet operating system, I think it makes a lot of sense. I've got um, the keyboard off, Hit Surface Go. I can swipe down to close applications, swipe up to switch between applications. But the main thing I think is you've got easy touch targets. You've got widgets on there and you've got the action center. And it all kind of makes sense really. It's, it's easy to use as, as a tablet operating system. You're not forced to full screen anymore and I think it works pretty well. I'm interested to see what Microsoft do with it but it all works well and of course your pen support works uh, works well as well on, on this. Uh, and I should have mentioned about the touch keyboard that um, has got the latest touch keyboard on there and that gets the also suggestions and the cloud clipboard and the gifs, um, emojis and things like that for when you're putting text input in and you can use voice input as well which I showed on the previous video. So let's first look at Windows 11 running on a tablet, like a Surface Go, works really well.